Yo, right, YouTube, speak by my further do retro. Uh, it's been absolute. I've been away for an absolute age. Um, yeah, uh, all this sort of uh, the lockdown business. I've uh, been involved uh, in Dana's live stream. I've sort of been about in the background in the comments and things like that. But so sort of I haven't had to sort of get up and go to do a video really. So I've uh, just been watching everyone else's content and uh, sort of <clears throat> sort of keeping up with things. So, but um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, yeah, so we're basically. Um, I've got pickups from probably like last. Well, this got to be like over, and like probably last ten weeks, I suppose. I'm not stupid like that, but I've had all these sort of games sort of to to one side. And obviously, I picked up bits and bobs here and there. Um, so, without further ado, let's get on with it. Cheers. Right, <laughs> right. Let's get on with the first one. <clears throat> Sorry, freeze. Playing me right up. Um, yeah, so on with the first one. Um, I actually bought this as the lockdown started. Um, you can actually pick up some bargains. I know a lot of things have uh, shot up in price, but the first sort of week of the lockdown, I think a lot of people sort of weren't really bidding. And, um, you know, so uh, I basically bid on this. I think I paid like, I know I got one of these off Stew before. I got another one of these. Um, and I think I actually got this for like £1.50. And like, I don't think, I think it might have been £2.90 postage. So, so like less than less than a fiver. Um, it's all box complete. It's all it's all bagged up and it's all in there. Um, you know, really really nice. So I've got two of these now. Um, I need to give that one I got off Stu a bit of a clean. I got the sort of isopropyl, and uh, you know, hopefully we we'll get two. We'll have two nice sort of uh, box joysticks. So, you know, to go along with the other sort of twenty twenty plus joysticks I already own. So. <laughs> Right, next one. Uh, I'll probably do some uh, like well. There's not. There's a lot more sort of modern stuff in in, in this pickups, but I'll sort of show you some of the some of the other bits I've got. Uh, picked up another game for my Spectrum next, uh, or another. This is five game. This is a five game pack. It has Bubblegum, Dewdrops, um, Montana Mike, which is a Rick Dangerous sort of uh, clone, a Delta Star, and a Dungeonette. I've yet to play these yet. I haven't sort of been given the Spectrum Next um, the, the the use it deserves at the moment. Uh, I'll sort of tell you what I've been playing in a moment. So there you can see the screenshots of the games on there. Looks pretty cool. Got this off, off eBay. Um, there's a card there. Um, got this off eBay. I think it was about 15 quid, maybe 16 quid. So not, not too bad at all. I'm after some of the, um, some of the other games... Um, on the spectrum maps, but they're selling out really quickly, so I'm hoping they're going to make some more. So, um, because there's not many sort of uh physical games out for the spectrum next, maybe, maybe like I don't know, around 10 plus, maybe, but um, it'd be quite easy to get a full collection, really. Um, well, that is if, if the games weren't sold out. So, um, I've got my eyes on eBay, I've put the, the games that I want into eBay, but they're, they're not popping up at the moment, no one's selling them. So, I don't know if it's a sign of they're a good game or uh, or what's what. <laughs> another another game uh i've got on full price release um i've also got it on this release as well so but i'm a sucker for a white disc so this is um beach volley i cannot remember how much i paid for this but i don't think it was a lot i think it was around a full five pound mark and this usually goes for a lot more than five pounds so uh it's beach volley absolutely classic um you can't you can't go wrong with a bit of beach volley although it is a lot harder from what I remember it being back in the day, we actually used to be quite good at it, but now I couldn't get past the first stage. Uh, chatting to Cine Steve, and he was like, oh, it's rubbish, it's too hard. And I was like, what are you on about? We used to get really, really far in it. <laughs> then when I played it, I was absolutely terrible. So I think the old, uh, the old uh, <laughs> Twitch reflexes are slowing down in my old age. So, yeah, that was a beach volley. Another game, absolute classic. I also own on, on Big Box Release. Um, one of my pride and joys, actually, on Big Box Release. Um, but I saw this, I got a feeling this was around a sort of £10 mark, so um, I picked it up, so, and it is Pang on the Hit Squad release, absolutely brilliant, again, you can't go wrong with a bit of Pang, um, absolutely fantastic game, so, you all know I love a bit of Pang, so it looks like it might have a bit of colour fade on that Ocean, uh, on the, sorry, Ocean, on the Hit Squad label on that one. Um, another one for uh, basically Spectrum Plus 3 collection, uh, disc collection. A bit of a strange one. I was a bit annoyed with this one as well because uh, 
it's an educational game, and I'm sort of collecting all the sort of weird and wonderful stuff on Spectrum. And it's mix and match with Maggie. Um, but the annoying part was this was pristine, and they bloody sent it in a, in a um in a bloody bin bag, and it got damaged like that. I mean, I didn't pay a lot for it. Um, it was under a tenner. It's probably like six or seven quid. Um, you know. But I was just annoyed with that. It just annoys me because, you know, this game survived 30 odd years and then some idiot puts it in the post in a bin bag and it and it gets damaged. Um, yeah, really, really upsetting that, you know. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, it's, it's it's not like a major game or anything, is it? But it's just nice to see these different sort of things and, you know, it's just it's just nice to see, but it's just sad. I mean, that's really cool. I mean, look at the... Look at the uh, they printed that on with a picture and everything. That's really, really cool. Um, that's possibly one of the coolest discs I've seen. <laughs> Probably not one of the coolest games, but that's really, really good. It's got, got the instructions in there and everything. But um, just upsetting that some idiot, like I say, it's, it's, it's survived like 30 years and some idiot's bloody put it in a bin bag and sent it through the post and it's unfortunately got damaged. Um, <clears throat> it irritates me. It really, really does. People, stupidity of people. Um, but what can you do? You know, I, I, I didn't even really complain. I should have complained. Next up is uh, what we got here. We got a couple of uh, PS4 games. Um, this one I've seen everyone sort of picking up. Let's, let's put it in this case. I was just try, trying to bought some of these for me, me Blu-rays and all that. So but this Axiom Verge. This looks pretty cool. I'll take it out of this. Uh, Axiom Verge looks pretty cool. Uh, platform. I think this was about 750 or something. When you look at the game here, it looks really, really cool. I know a lot of the lads have already got this. But it's seven fifty or £10 or whatever for a game that looks really, really cool. I'm going to buy it, you know. I'm, I'm going to buy it at that price, you know. Absolutely fantastic. So really, really chuffed for that. Uh, another one I've been after for quite some time um, and haven't been able to get a decent price. I don't think I got this particularly cheap. Um, I've got a feeling I got it for 25 maybe 23 um, but everyone's been sort of raving on about it. It's a game that came out originally um, on digital, and then it was a Brazilian release, I believe. But now you can get it as a UK release. So I got the uh, Horizon Zero Chase. Is it? Um, yeah, it, this this is supposed to be really really good. Um, I know old school and Binti enjoyed this one, so I'll be looking forward to giving this a go. So it was nice to have it on the old physical. So PS PS4, brilliant, brilliant. So I can't wait to to sort of uh, have a have a little go on that. Looks really, really good. Right on to the next ones. Uh, right, <laughs> I can't stop saying it. Like. Right. The game I'm playing through at the moment. Um, so I'm sort of doing what everyone else is doing. I, when when it came out, um, I got on the old Xbox uh, Xbox One X. And done the 99p uh, game pass. So, and I started on Streets of Rage 4. Um, on the final level, um, absolutely fantastic game. Really, really good. Just, they've, they've hit the nail on the head with that one. It It's almost game of perfection. You know, there's a couple of little things that are a, a bit annoying, you know. But other than that, it, it, it's pretty on the ball. Like, you know, it's, it's really, really good. The music's good. Um, the gameplay's good. Like I say, there's a couple of issues with the gameplay. Like, you know, some of the... Sort of like the hit things, but other than that, it's pretty good. I it's a ninety plus game, easy. Um, you know, I'd say it's around sort of sort of ninety ninety five percent or something like that. It really is that good. Um, so if you haven't played it, um, definitely go go out there and get it. I've got a physical release coming um, from limited game runs, uh, limited, limited run games even. Um, but unfortunately, you know what they're like. So as soon as they um, the game came out, everyone was playing it day one, so I just, like I say, 99p to do this game, or Xbox Game Pass. Um, it's really, really good, actually, this Xbox Game Pass. I sort of fought against not getting it. Um, and to be honest, it's, it's you know, it's it's not physical, but for 99p and access to around about 100 games um, and some top titles and, and a lot of titles, when they do come out, are sort of straight on this Xbox Game Pass. So it's 99p for the first month, if you haven't done it before, which is absolutely fantastic. Then it's ten ninety nine a month after that. So if you can sort of complete, you know, four games a month, um, you know, it's about two seventy a game, isn't it? It's two seventy three or something like that. So uh, you know, it's it's really really worth doing. Um, yeah, I, I I'd highly recommend it. It's really really worth doing. 
But <laughs> one of the, one of the sort of favourite games of all time, really. Um, I'm a sucker for it. Um, the PS4 still isn't set up. I still haven't tried to set it up. So I like you know I'm very much going down the Xbox One uh, X route at the moment. Um, so I'm sort of feeling it, missing a bit of the old uh, Resident Evil 4. <laughs> so I've bought it on the Xbox, um, the Xbox One X, and uh, I managed to get this for about 13 quid. A uh, twelve pound summit it was. Um, it's a fantastic game. I love this game. I absolutely love it. Um, I've completed it on GameCube several times. I've completed it on PS3 several times. I've completed it on PS4 several times. Uh, I'm going through it on Xbox One now. Um, have I completed it on anything else? I don't think I've completed it on PC. I have it on PC. I've got it on PS4. Uh, PS4 is a cut down version, by the way. Um, and I've got it on the Wii, but I haven't completed it on the Wii either. So, but uh, it's a cracking game. It's one of those games. I mean, this just came out in two thousand and seven, and I just keep going back to it. This has got real longevity and you know uh, replay appeal. Really has. Even now, I'm still finding things that I um I I didn't know about the game. So, you know, and I've completed it loads and loads of times. But it's it's just a great game. It's absolutely great. So. uh Yes, <laughs> I've got a vast collection of Resident Evil 4, but it is one of my favourite games of all time. So, uh, yeah, I had to pick that up. Next one is another game um, I saw, and I do have this. Um, I originally completed this on the... We originally played this on P PC in school on um, 386, I believe. Um, we used to have a 386 in our tutor, and this was one of the games that was on it. Or, or one of the games on here is one of the games that was on it. Uh, and then when this came out on PlayStation, I got the um, got it on PlayStation and completed it and thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, and then uh, there's a couple of releases after that, I believe. But um, when I saw this was out, uh, I had to get it. A little bit annoyed with this release, though, because um, it's not as I thought it would be. Um, it is Doom Slayer's Collection. And... Um, what this is is Doom, Doom, Doom Two, Doom Three, uh, and Doom Two Thousand and Sixteen. But unfortunately, Doom, Doom Two, and Doom Three is just a a code. Uh, it's a code, and it downloads games. Which I'm really annoyed with that. I, I really, really don't like how they do that. And then the Doom Two Thousand and Sixteen is there on the disc. Um, now I haven't got the latest doom that they've done i've got the obviously got 2016 i've got another version of 2016 i just bought this for doom doom 2 and doom 3 um but on the latest version of doom um on the xbox or ps4 i believe it has a version of um doom 64 i believe so uh doom 64 is one of the best uh versions of doom you can get i believe it's a toss-up between that and the jaguar um, I think the Jaguar is the the, the 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 top rated version of Doom, sort of um, the you know class as the ultimate version of Doom. But um, I know that um, Doom on the N sixty four is also a very uh, highly considered version as well. So, but it's really really good to be playing this on the um, on the Xbox, and it looks surprisingly good on a HD screen as well. Um, you know because really. All us uh, old school gamers do like to play on a CRT. Um, that's why I have kept a uh, version on PlayStation so I can play it on the CRT. But I also have the ver uh, uh, option of playing it now in 4K on the big screen as well. So uh, yeah, it moves lovely. It's really really smooth. It's really difficult though. I'm, I'm not too far into it. I'm, I'm stuck on about the fourth or fifth level to be honest. I haven't been putting as much time as I should uh, be into it, but uh, yeah, it's it's. Still a game, absolute classic. You know, get, they don't make them like that anymore, in my opinion. Uh, it's, it was still one of the best all-time first-person shooters. You know, you know, none of this sort of weight in your health goes up and all that. Proper, you lose energy. You need to pick energy up, otherwise you die. <laughs> right, next one. Um, actually, this was part of a two sort of game deal. So I was actually after Project Cars Two. Um, which looks a really, really cool sort of driving game. Bit of an older game now, but this is an absolute bargain. I think this was around 750. Uh, it looks really, really cool. 
Um, you drive cars, boats, planes, and uh, all sorts, really. It looks really, really good. It looked good when it came out, but this was like 750 brand new. So this is brand new sealed. Um, it's a little bit of a weird one. This it almost looks like it's been uh, almost repacked or something. Or but it's an older, it's an older game, so it's a different style of packaging, I think. Um, but yeah, 750 new. But I bought this for 10 quid, so I got this game and Tekken 7 for £10. I already have Tekken 7, so I'll be selling or trading. It doesn't go for much. I think it goes for around between £5 and £7. So it's a good game, though. But, um, you know, 250 to get that extra, and I've got a trade or a swap with someone. You know, and I've still got this one sealed. Why not? Isn't it? You know, you've got, you got some trades there then. So, so cut another couple of games. Um, one I've been after for a while. Um, again, I haven't pay, played a, um paid much for this, uh, but it's actually two games. I don't know if the code will still work for the original game. Uh, it is brand new sealed, so you'd hope it would do. Um, but it is South Park Fractured But Whole, <laughs> and uh, it also includes the original game or a code for the original game. And I believe I paid about seven pounds fifty for this, so. You know, it's not the usual sort of game I'm sort of into, but, you know, South Park is funny. Um, it looks like a re real good sort of crack, really. So, uh, you know, £7.50, why not? You know, if it's another game in the collection or another two, hopefully. And uh, £7.50, jobs are good, isn't it? Another game I bought um, a long time ago. I actually bought this and someone offered me uh, good money for it, so I never got round to playing it. Uh, but I wanted to add it back in the collection. I think I sold it for like 40 quid. Like I, I think I paid about 20 quid for it. But And I sold it to someone for you know, Oh, I want, really want that. I'll give you 40 quid for it. All right, no problem. <laughs> like, you, know, you can buy it for full price off me. Um, they just really wanted to play it there. And then they didn't know it was out. So And it's, it's another older game. Um, and it's a uh, real-time strategy, I believe. Which is right on my street. Um, it is Halo Wars 2. And I've got a feeling I paid about seven fifty for this. Um, it wasn't a lot. It wouldn't have been more than ten pounds, but I'm, I'm sure it's around the sort of seven fifty mark. So, you know, if you can sell a game and get it back in your collection, this is brand new as well. Again, get it back in your collection. You know, set, buy it for twenty, sell it for forty, and then buy it back for seven fifty. You're on a winner, aren't you? So, you know, a lot of the games I've got after time and. You know, if someone sees them in my collection and they, they want to give me good money for it, then who am I to argue as long as I can replace it easy enough? Um, you know, all my all, all my friends, you know, they come around and they, they're they not like collectors like I am. Um, you know, so they, sometimes they see games in my collection. I'm like, oh, you know, I'm really after that. Um, so like I say, it's, it's easy enough for me to re-get the games, you know. So, right, another one uh, I had on the PS, uh, PS4. Um... It's not this edition, though. I had the one down from this edition. So I really wanted to get this edition. And this game shot up in price uh, recently. I know a lot of the lads were after it. I had this sealed on the PS4. Um, and as I... I'm not sure if the PS4 works. And obviously the Xbox One X is more powerful than the PS4. I thought I'd get it. Um, sell my uh, sealed copy on the PS4. And I literally... I paid... I, I think I sold my one for 15 on the PS4, sealed brand new. Um, and I managed to get this one for about the same. So I may have lost a pound or two, but I've upgraded to the Witcher 3 Game of the Year edition. Now, I had the edition below this. It didn't say Game of the Year. And I don't... I think this has extra content on it. So, But uh, to get it on the more powerful console, and a lot of people sort of swear by this game, so it's really, really good. So uh, um, I, know, I think Dylan was looking for it, and we, I couldn't believe how much it shot up. I think I got this for like fifteen ninety nine or yeah fifteen ninety nine I think I paid and I sold mine for fifteen so I lost a few quid postage and what have you but to upgrade for like three or four quid or whatever to the to the best version and especially as a lot of places are charging a lot more for this um, yeah I'm, I, I'm looking to get stuck into this as well really so uh, yeah in, uh, another game that's supposed to be absolutely fantastic. Um, Another couple of special editions. Um, I've been after this game for a while. I've been waiting for it to come down in price. Um, this is, I believe, uh, possibly the top edition or one down from top edition. I think this was 80 quid uh, when it came out, this edition. 
Um, and uh, basically, I saw this for about 20 quid. It might be 20 a twenty pound, maybe a bit more. I don't think it was. I think it was about nineteen ninety nine. So to go from like seventy nine ninety nine to nineteen ninety nine, uh, you know, I can't see going down much more than that. Is Metro Exodus Aurora? So um, yeah, this this looks a really really good game. The graphics look fantastic. Um, believed it. I haven't obviously I haven't opened it yet. It's still sealed. Um, it's got a steel book in it. It's got art book and and some cards and probably music CD. And it also says it's got the first one there, um, Metro uh, 2033 Redux included as well. I probably just mispronounced that. <laughs> so people probably taking a mick out of me in comments. You know, back in the day when I was a, a, a wee boy, I used to call Grand Prix Grand Prix. So <laughs> I've probably done something along the same lines. Uh, my, fr my French isn't what it ought to be. <laughs> Neither is my English mind. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, yeah, that looks really cool. It's really got some weight in that. So, yeah, twenty quid. You can't go wrong. Eighty quid to twenty quid. Fantastic. And another game, a special edition. Really enjoyed. Well, it's two games actually. Um, really enjoyed this uh, the first time round. I haven't played the other one, which is a bit of a bit of a crime, really. Um, from what I hear, um, it is the Vanquish and Bayonetta double um limited edition steelbook so the game i really enjoyed was vanquish i really really enjoyed this game um uh, vanquish is great i really really enjoyed it nailed it on ps3 um one of the last games i remember a character actually smoking <laughs> smoking cigarettes and looking cool uh not that it's cool to smoke don't smoke kids well kids shouldn't be watching this video anyway because it's not for kids anyway but uh, yeah, you know when when it was cool to smoke, or you look cool smoking, and uh, yeah, it was a a really, really, really good game, Vanquish. And I know Bayonetta is supposed to be absolutely fantastic, um, which I do have it on the Wii U. It's still sealed on my Wii U as well. Bayonetta, and Bayonetta two, limited edition on that. So um, yeah, so these are the uh, this is me pickups. I think I think we've run out of pickups. Yeah, but that's what we sort of had um, stacked stacked to one side for a, for a long while. But um, yeah, I've got another video coming up. Uh, I know two E tagged me in, and Dylan tagged me into a VR response for the six uh, six of my favourite Mega Drive games that I own. Um, I've, found, I've been finding that a little bit harder than um, I thought I would do, to be honest, because a lot of the games I have owned, I've I've sold on. <laughs> so so but uh, fortunately for me a lot of the ones i do like aren't necessarily the sort of bigger hitters the sort of more the sort of common titles and ones that are achievable for quite quite reasonable money really so um but there, there'll definitely be a few honorable mentions that i have owned and have gone but uh i'll be looking um you know but i still do play on like a multi-car or something like that but but yeah there, there will be six titles that i do that i do own uh and do really really enjoy and play so Right, YouTube, uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.